Jeff Rebele now. Oh, is that a familiar sight or what? Dave Steve, welcome back. 40 years of age, wearing his number 37. A Toronto Blue Jay Hall of Famer. Rebele with a drive to deep left. Shannon Stewart will turn that half circle again and go back on the track and pick it off. Birds get three in the eighth to close the gap to seven. 13-6, Toronto. Volkswagen save leaders, American League, Troy Percival with his 22 as a pass Flash Gordon, who is now in the second spot with 20, John Wetland and Randy Myers, 19 and 18, respectively. Volkswagen save leaders brought to you by the Volkswagen Beetle back to save the world. Now, Mike Flanagan is looking kind of longingly out at the mound because Mike is looking at uh, one of his former teammates when he left the Birds who went to Toronto. I can't tell you how much I never believed I'd see this again, but Dave Steed, who owns uh, just about every career mark in Toronto Blue Jay franchise history, has been purchased from AAA Syracuse. He's on the, the mound working in the ninth inning at 41 years of age, Jim, and uh, Dave Steed back in the baseball pitching business. Yeah, you're right. The wins 174, 2,822 innings, 1,631 strikeouts. Pitched 30 shutouts. And I'll tell you what, he had as good a slider and a good sinker. Changeup was his third pitch. 2 and 0 at Dunedin before he went to Syracuse, where he was 5 and 4. And his uh, last appearance, just the other night, eight inning, four hits, two home runs, didn't walk anybody, and struck out nine. And you wonder the emotions running through Dave Steve. There's some magnificent pitching performances in the Toronto Blue Jay uniform. Chris Hoyles will lead it off as Steve's in the strike zone for a called strike. Nothing new. Five years between sliders for a strike. <laughs> yeah, the last <laughs> time, well, what was he on the mound last? 1992 in a Toronto uniform. So almost six years now, August of 92. Ground ball over the bag and up the line and left. Extra bases maybe for Chris Hoyles. Nope, he's going to take that big turn and come to a halt as Dave Steve gives up the single to Chris Hoyles. And for Hoyles on the night, that is Chris's second base hit. A slider that he doesn't get where he'd like. Hard ground ball by the third baseman. I'll tell you, same windup. Said a speed slider that misses. Bordico for three tonight. 174 wins leading the Blue Jay franchise. Over 1,600 strikeouts. And the 30 shutouts, as Jim talked about. Yeah, fastball 88, slider right around 80, 81 miles per hour. And I, I think this is a good. Obviously, it's good for him to come in in a 13 to 6 game, but if you're the manager, Tim Johnson, uh, while there's a lot of uh, tradition and sentiment in this game, uh, your first year manager, you want somebody who's going to get the job done. But you can see how he's throwing, whether he can throw strikes. Always was able to do that. Do you happen to remember June 21st, 1979? <laughs> what do you do to. That's where it all began here in Baltimore over at Memorial Stadium. First time Dave Steve uh, started with the Toronto Blue Jays. Well, I do remember he had an awfully good arm. He was a guy that uh, always talk about control of your emotions, never wear your, your emotions on your sleeve. He had trouble doing that. I mean, and I think that's one of the reasons he had a lot of success. Was, uh, he wasn't into mediocrity. Missed downstairs, two and two. Here's your little changeup. It's his third pitch. Yeah, maybe a little grayer around the edges, but uh, still pretty much the same demeanor on the mound. Slider is lifted to short center. Long run for Sean Green. Can't get there. The back base hits from Hoyles and Mike Bordick. 
And Mike Bordick will take that. Steve makes an awfully good pitch, low and away slider. And, but we've seen the Blue Jays do this a, quite a bit tonight. They've hit some balls real hard. They've hit some real soft. And the Orioles taking a page out of their book. Well, you face two hitters. It's been about seven years. One hit a ground ball over the bag, and one hits a looper that falls in. And now you're facing a guy that hit 50 home runs two years ago. Reality check uh -huh. everywhere you look in Major League Baseball. Yeah, it's for it's a, it's a reality check for Dave and and, and his manager. Mm -hmm. You know, if the Orioles are to mount something and put three or four on the board, he's going to have to win a baseball uh -huh. game and go out and hook Steve. Brady's at a base hit tonight as Steve falls behind 2-0. And, and just remember the disparity, the, 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 the difference, the gap between Triple A and the Major League. Uh -huh. I mean, I think it's wonderful that his arms held up, that he went to spring training, he went to Dunedin, a ball, and then to Syracuse, and at, at 40, soon to be 41. He just popped Brady Anderson up, left side. Spray put it away for out number one here in the ninth. You know about this. You uh, attempted uh, something of the same ilk and tried to come back. Yet, uh, I was a little bit older. I was about five years older. I've been out seven years. He was out five. A lot of people asking me about that. And uh, I, I know personally that there were some writers that took shots because they, of course, they never ever tried to pitch at a major league level, and they thought it would be amusing to say, you know, midlife crisis, you know, instead of take a vacation, buy a new island, that kind of stuff. But you, you have to really expose yourself to, to do it. You have to expose yourself emotionally to failing. You have to expose your, your, yourself physically, physically in case you can't do it. You had a bad back, had all kinds of elbow problems towards the end of his career. You have to take a risk. And a lot of people would like to do that, and uh, I found out that I think a lot of people vicariously live some of their dreams for me. And it, it, you know, it was a nice month and a half, two month ordeal. Yeah. And if you're a former major league pitcher, you always have that focus, your next start, your next year, and whatever, and you miss that. You miss a lot of things about the game. Slider for a called strike to Eric Davis. Did you feel like uh, almost emotionally it's it's like burying your soul in a sense? Uh-huh. But, but I think just being a professional player, you, you your frailties, your failures, your successes, it's right out there for everybody to see. that knew Dave Steve at the height of his uh, successes with Toronto would ever doubt the fact that he was one of the great competitors. I mean, he he was out there to do one thing, and that was to beat you. And uh, God gave him a lot of talents to, to be able to do that. Davis chased that fastball up and in. 3-2 now on Eric. But if you look at the kind of pitcher he was, and he's still throwing 88 miles per hour. He still has a slider. He still has a changeup. He was a sinker ball pitcher. His success was always down in the zone. So you can lose a little bit if you're healthy enough and still get his out. Drive to keep center, but Sean Green is right there to haul it in. Davis hit it hard. Straight at Sean Green. Two down here in the Oriole night. The designated hitter, number three, Harold Bain. Dave Steve is going to. Have to get out a uh, fellow veteran in the game. A man that has had three base hits tonight and driven in four of the Orioles' six runs. Harold Baines. Singled in the first, doubled in a pair in the sixth, singled in two more in the eighth. Well, Steve is so new, we don't even have his numbers against Harold Baines, but. Bouncing ball toward the hole. Gonzalez trying to go the short way, not in time. Raybuck got there a little bit late. 
and Mike Bordick beat the throw from Gonzalez. Infield base hit, Harold Baines. That is four base hits tonight for Harold. And you talk about Bordick being a grinder. Part of grinding it out is when you're down by seven, you run as hard as you can. Otherwise, Baines has to beat that out. Alex Gonzalez makes a great play to get to this ball and be able to make an off-balance throw to short step from short to second. And Bordick already getting there quickly. He's up in his slide. Nice play by Gonzalez. Snap throw. We've seen a couple of those tonight. And Bordick beats it. And that loads him up for the king of SWAT, Lenny Webster. Three hits his last start. And Lenny's second plate appearance tonight. As he looks at a cold strike, he flied out in the eighth. To came into the game behind the plate as Chris Hoyle has moved to first base. Lenny hitting the spot that was. Uh, Started by Rafael Palmero tonight. Slider is fouled off, so Steve quickly ahead of Webster. You know, Dave, Steve wants to uh, get Webster and keep the Orioles off the board here in the ninth in his comeback first appearance in the major leagues in almost six years. Okay, what's Doug Johns? He realizes you don't always have to get hit hard to give up runs. Mm -hmm. The slider off. Still 0-2. It's been a long night for the O's. They've had to endure a 13-run, 18-hit Toronto assault tonight. And the Birds, who had won a couple in a row over the New York Yankees, trying so hard to get back to that 500 level. And Jim, unless they rally large here tonight in the ninth, they're going to fall four games under again. Left center field. This should do it. Shannon Stewart will put it away. And Dave Steve, at 41 years of age, works a scoreless ninth inning in his comeback appearance for the first time in almost six years. A lot of Toronto offense tonight. Beats the Birds. The final at 13-6. Don't go away. We'll come back and wrap it up from the yard on O's TV. Not a very pleasant night for 47,374 as they watch their O's fall to the Toronto Blue Jays tonight. The final at 13-6. Doug Johns loses. His record falls to 2-2. Two two. Seventh straight sellout, 16th of the year. But Toronto was hit happy tonight with their 18 base hit attack. They provided 13 runs in support of Toronto pitching. And our Dodge player of the night is Alex Gonzalez. Had a big night. Gonzalez stroked his two-run home run here his sixth of the year in the seventh. He went three for four on the night, scored three runs, and drove in a couple. Alex Gonzalez, a new Dodge player of the game in the 13-6 Toronto win over the Birds. Final thoughts coming up next out of the yard on the Orioles television network. As we come back to the yard and... Jim, anytime you uh, have problems pitching, I think uh, all the frailties of the ball club is going through at a particular time of the season, like the Orioles have been, are going to show up, and that's exactly what happened. And Toronto jumped out early and never let they up. They certainly did, and uh, against left-handed starters this year, they were only 8-12, and 12, so you figure Doug Johns, even though he struggled a little bit lately, has pitched well enough to keep him in the ball game. As it turned out, he didn't pitch that badly, but got some bad breaks. They go to the bullpen. They get five runs off Charlton, and... and uh, What's his name, Terry Matthews? I'm just kidding. No, I mean, Terry Matthews could have a mind thought because it's a long night, and I think what happens is it, defensively, the Orioles make their first error in 12 games, and it's just a difficult night to concentrate. But the bottom line is if you don't pitch, you don't have a chance to win. Uh, Carpenter was just wild enough. One hitter through five innings, very tough to pick up all over the place, but threw enough strikes early on to get a big lead, and then uh, it was kind of nice uh, to, to see Dave Steve come back. Mm -hmm. Gave up three base hits, not hit particularly hard, and you know, be 41 in July, and uh, it's an amazing story. So that's going to do it in this 13-6 Toronto win in which Alex Gonzalez starred here tonight for our producer, Chris Grain, our director, Bill Bell, and all of the outstanding crew of men and women that make our life and job so much easier as they are the top production team in baseball that bring you Orioles baseball from the yard and for my partner, Jim Palmer. I'm Michael Regai. I know it was tough to enjoy tonight, everybody, as Toronto pounded out this 13-6 win, but we'll try it again tomorrow night as Pete Smith goes against Roger Clemens. Orioles baseball has been a presentation of CBS Cable, the Baltimore Orioles, and Major League Baseball. For all of us at the yard, I'm Michael Regai. So long, everyone.